You know, I, I think part of why Kamala is getting so much support is that uh, if, if Trump wins, that Epstein client list is going to become public. Yes. And some of those billionaires behind Kamala are terrified of that outcome. Yeah. Do you think Reed Hoffman's uncomfortable? Yes. Yeah. And Gates. And Gates. Yeah. yeah. And I only ask that because you can sort you just look at them and you're like, that, that's a nervous person right there. I don't know. I mean, I assume you know them. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Reed Hoffman was my vice president of business development at PayPal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 24 years ago. Um, he, did, does he seem nervous to you? Yeah, I mean, he's terrified of a Trump victory. Because of the disclosure that would follow? I think, yeah, I mean, I think he, he's, he's certainly ideologically not aligned with Trump anyway, but I think he is concerned about the, uh, the, the, the Epstein situation. Like something might actually, the DOJ might actually move forward. There are a lot of videos, apparently. Those r rooms on the island, and I think out in New Mexico, were wired for video. Right. And Where's the video? We, I mean, between Diddy and Epstein, uh, good. There's, there's, there's probably several thousand hours of footage here. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of weird that the people on those videos are lecturing the rest of us about our moral failings, isn't it? Yeah, it's weird. What is that? Um, well, I mean, part of how they deflect attention from themselves is by a mark, you know, criticizing the morals of others. Yes. So they, it's sort of like a preemptive moral strike. Um, yes. I mean, as I said, I think the, the, those who are saying Trump is a threat to democracy are themselves actually the threat to democracy. It feels like we're getting to a place where the rest of us know too much. Is this, do you know what I mean? I mean, it's, it's, it's easier to live in a society where you don't really know what the people in charge are doing or why they're doing it. But now, thanks, I would say, largely to X. Yeah. Um, I think that's fair to say that. Yeah. Uh, we, we do know a lot. Not everything, but we know a lot. And I wonder, yeah. where does that, like, what happens next now that we know all this? The kidnapper shown us his face. Like, what happens? Well, I think if, uh, if Trump wins, we can do some house cleaning and shed light on things. 